Now, in manifold ordeals of my life, I always wondered what it is like to be stripped of privacy. In other words, if a man of greatness or of any form of dignity or value will be under public scrutiny of idiots, of the wars of the wars, of the scourge, would any of those persons, high or low, stand public scrutiny if they would get into their heads, into their beds, into their lives, into their loved ones' affairs, into their families? Well, that's how it should be in politics. In other words, those who hold an official title, a publicly exposed person, should have absolutely no privacy. You should get in their bed, in their head, in everything they do. Censor the minutes of the world, said in public or in private, until they are trained to be merited, until they are trained and watched, observed, reglamented audited on their every fucking step until they prove themselves worthy of government of any form of responsibility because now the world is upside down the crooks, the pigs, the mediocre go up in politics and uh, fortify themselves in anonymous castles of delusions and those who are surveilled those who are under scrutiny those who are observed, ruined, whose privacy is destroyed, sometimes are the wars and sometimes the greatest of men and women. So before you get into somebody else's life with your filthy shoes, think twice what is your life worth. Because sometimes when you discover that a man or a woman is greater than you and you expose his or her greatness, and compared to your pettiness, you may become viciously jealous and hateful. That you are not what you thought you are. That you are just another maggot drilling holes in the system and in the personal that is grander, greater, and more noble than you. Look at your politicians. Look towards where the power goes. That is the advice of the day.